All right, hello guys, welcome back to another video. So today I just wanted to talk about Ruben Sim and Roblox. So if you guys haven't already heard, Ruben Sim made a tweet yesterday stating that Roblox and I have settled. The case won't be going to trial. I get to keep my channel and my social media accounts and I haven't paid Roblox any money. I also won't be accessing their platform anymore. If you have a Pacer account, you can look up the full agreement yourself. And basically I just wanted to say what a Pacer account is. A Pacer account is basically a account where you can look up like public records and stuff like that but it's a big pain to essentially get an account over there because you have to verify a whole bunch of stuff and it just takes time to do that stuff so i didn't really want to go to that website and have to do that so i'll just explain what the agreement was that roblox gave ruben sim but before i get into it make sure you like this video if you like it so far if you're new to the channel and you like the video make sure you subscribe because it would really help me out as i'm trying to hit 10,000 subscribers soon but besides that let's continue so yes ruben sim was super by roblox if you guys didn't hear back in december of last year of course and ruben sim was basically sued for a lot of crazy things that he didn't necessarily do and in my opinion i believe that this is a bogus lawsuit that was basically made against ruben sim but yeah it took ruben sim around a month to respond to this lawsuit because he was consulting a lawyer and last friday he actually made a part one video debunking the lawsuit and why it was a in my opinion a bogus lawsuit and i assume that Roblox saw this video and they understood that they basically took it way too far with the lawsuit and they decided to make this agreement in which this agreement was for Rubinson basically to not be allowed to log into Roblox accounts anymore and making no threats against them or going near their offices and no making false statements about them and the last one is to basically not maintain content that encourages people to break the Roblox terms of service essentially and that's basically it Rubinson didn't have to pay any money he didn't have to get rid of his social accounts or nothing. The only thing he did have to get rid of was three videos that actually Scrimzox re-uploaded to their channel. So yeah, in my opinion, I believe this lawsuit could have been way worse for Ruben Sim. But it turns out that Roblox settled and basically made an agreement with Ruben Sim to not do these things. And it's actually not too bad compared to the original $1.6 million lawsuit. So in my opinion, Ruben Sim basically won this lawsuit because a lot of things in the lawsuit that Roblox Roblox said that Ruben Sim was doing was not true. So in my opinion, I believe that Ruben Sim took the W because he didn't have to pay back any money, which is good. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any thoughts about this whole situation, make sure you leave it down in the comment section down below. Make sure you like and subscribe. My name is Rion and I will see you in my next video. Peace.